All right, guys, this is a Triumph Thruxton R. It's been in the shop a couple couple weeks here, getting some work done. And I'm just gonna do a quick walk around, go over some of the accessories that we put on the bike over the last couple weeks. Just a quick shout out to uh, to A&J Cycles down in Hilburn, New York. If you are in the Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area, and you want some custom work done to a motorcycle, I highly recommend those guys. They have a website, ajcyclesny.com. Uh, tons of Triumph parts, tons of parts for any bike, good prices, great people to deal with. They've done an awesome job so far, uh, and we just have a little bit more work to go, but uh, highly recommend those guys. And also, so we'll start with we'll start with the wheels. These wheels, check out CanyonMotorcycles.com. These wheels are spoked; they're tubeless. I forget offhand if they're the denim black, satin black. Uh, they can do them in basically any colors. Uh, check them out online as well, CanyonMotorcycles.com. They did an awesome job. Uh, got them back in a super short amount of time. So reach out to, to Adrian out there, and I'm sure he'll hook you guys up. But just to run through a couple things that, that I've done on the bike here, and again, I should, I should say that AJ Cycle, Brian down at the shop, he did all the work. Um, a couple things, lots of Rizoma parts on this bike, so you can see the front fender, that's Rizoma. Uh, these are the 3D levers from Rizoma. These, I think these are called the retro, bar end mirrors. I'll post all the links in the description on the YouTube page, but you can see all these are blacked out. So all of those are Rizoma parts. And then the foot pegs are also Rizoma. Uh, some of the parts on the bike, I had either painted a matte black, like these side covers, um, you know, or some of the metal parts that are on the bike, I had, uh, I had blacked out or powder coated, I should say, through, uh, through AJ cycles. Uh, some, other, some other things that were changed. So these are the black springs for the Olin's rear shocks. Um, this is a Lamoto seat cover. I think it's the ribbed version is, is what they call it. Uh, that came out awesome. It's, it's, uh, it's, co it's super comfortable and they use your existing seat. right here is it's the analog tail tight here fender eliminator uh, there, there's a lot of different options out there for the triumph thruxtons but this one it's a little bit more expensive but it's incredibly bright uh, and it was highly recommended by the shop um, so i put it on it's it's been great i love the look of it very bright lights as well so up here we have the XR lights. I'll put a link to those as well. We're having a little bit of a problem with them right now. I think we might've gotten a bad batch. I might put some Rizomas on here. They're great lights. We, we put them on because they're, they're really the brightest lights on the market as far as I understand. Um, but they're just, they're having a couple, couple different problems right now. So hopefully we can get some, uh, hopefully we can either get replacements that work on those uh, or I'll, I'll end up switching them out with the, with the Rizomas. This radiator guard, I think is an Evotech radiator guard. Um, one of the remaining things that's going to be done with the bike, we're just waiting on the black, the black headers, but uh, we're going to put black headers on here uh, in the Vance and Hine black exhaust. Uh, we're going to decat the bike and basically put a guard under here, a blacked out guard to kind of match that, uh, that radiator cover. So that's, that's really the only thing left to, uh, to upgrade on the bike. I'll do some before and after shots as well. Um, trying to capture the sound of the exhaust so you guys can hear really the difference. But, uh, the only other thing, um, besides this, this mini fairing here is this, uh, this is the, the new Rotodemic. I think it's the Evo S. This thing just looks awesome on the bike. Um, completely changes the, the overall appearance. Uh, I used it the, the other night, but I had on a tinted, 
visor on my helmet, so I can't really comment too much to, to you know, how great the light is. But it's definitely brighter than the stock. It looks awesome. And I think it was around 400 bucks. It's not one of the adaptive headlights, but it is their their newest release, again, as far as, as I understand it. Otherwise, the only other things on the bike, just put some additional Triumph badging blacked out in these different spots. Um, one thing I'm looking at doing is, uh, is blacking out that Triumph logo as well. So keep checking back. Hopefully in a couple weeks, we'll have a couple more videos on this.